So we've been talking a lot about how to construct chords, how to make rhythms, what arpeggios are, all that mumbo jumbo. But I want to take a step back and give you something to warm up with because God knows after years and years of playing, if I don't warm up, my fingers cramp up and I feel like an you know, arthritic old man. And that's not a place you ever want to get to. So I think it's really crucial to kind of have a good warm-up routine. And there's something someone showed me a while back that I kind of still do, even though I was a little kid when they showed me this. It's still integrated into my practice routine. And I think it's a good way to practice the one finger per fret, the alternating plucking hand fingers, all that stuff we talked about, working with the metronome, working with rhythms. So I'm going to show you that real quick. I call it the spider. Don't be alarmed. And basically, you play starting on the F on the E string, so the first fret of the lowest string, right? And you play moving up frets and up strings with all four of the fingers. So, right? So I'll end up playing my pinky on the B. Now once I finish that, I want to my first finger is hanging out here, I'm going to play the first fret of the G and move backwards. So basically I went one, two, three, four in terms of frets and then E, A, D, G in terms of strings on the way up and on the way back to kind of answer that. It's going to be one, two, three, four again, but it's going to be G, D, D A, E going backwards. So. I'm using my plucking fingers, so I'm alternating my plucking fingers. I'm, I'm still trying to practice that good technique, and this is why there's no point in doing this unless you're reinforcing all these like concepts we've been talking about with the alternation and the one finger per fret. So here I'm going. Right? So you're kind of being forced to deal with this, deal with this, move across the neck, and your hands kind of stretching out, which gets it nice and warmed up. So what you do once that whole thing Pinky's here, fourth fret of the E string. The next module is going to be the same pattern, but now I'm starting on F sharp. But I'm doing the same thing. Cross, but instead of moving up every time, I'm going to move down. Let's do it with click. So there's our click, right? Just something to kind of give this some structure. Remember I said clicks give things structure. First I'll play quarter notes, right? Every note I play will be on the click. Two, three, four. I won't 
go all the way up and back doing this, but I do recommend that you play quarter notes through this whole thing. Even if it's at this tempo, whatever tempo you can nail it at, that's the one you should start at. Nail it, perfect, right? It's gonna take a while to get all the way up and back. But let's do eighth notes, okay? So instead of quarter notes, I'm gonna play eighth notes through the pattern. Same tempo, same click. One, two, three, four. Triplets are tough. Remember when I first learned this, this one took me a while. So I'm just going to play it, I'll give you it as a challenge, as extra credit. If you can nail this playing triplets, you got a good thing going. Alright? One, two, three, four. starts to feel really turned around, you know, to me. Like you hear a rhythm, you hear like a kind of like a, a phrase there, except the triplet feel kind of makes it seem offset with the beat and it gets really like, you know, like one of these chewing gum and that whole thing. It's a tough one. So one more, we'll do 16th notes. This one is definitely a challenge, another thing to aspire to if you can't quite do it yet. Um, remember 16th notes, 1E and it, 2E and it, 3E and it, da, 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 da. that's our pulse. So I'm going to play the same pattern all the way up and all the way back 16th notes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> You can vary the tempo, you can mix different rhythms within it. I could play chord notes. Gets you up and down the neck. It's a great warm-up exercise. 